Hello everyone, this is Jamie from the Jay Taylor 1409 YouTube channel and today we're going to be having a look at the AC Milan team guide. But before we go any further with today's video guys, I just want to quickly point you in the direction of my YouTube channel. It's the Jay Taylor 1409, we've currently got 540 subscribers and we're running a series with AC Milan. We can see here that we've got the Europa League final and we've done really well. We've got in the TOAM Cup final, so go and check that out if you haven't already. We've also done some FMA team predict stuff and there's some cricket on there as well. And there's going to be a lot more content coming up as well, including the top 10 teams to manage on FMA team. So do check that out. Let's get back into today's video then. Okay, so we've got my channel stuff out of the way. Let's crack straight into this team guide then. So we can see here on the screen, we are AC Milan. And I just want to take you in, first of all, to the finance area of the squad. And we can see here that we've got a transfer budget of £17.829 million. Pounds. We've got 90% of the revenue made available. We've got a scouting budget of 720000 a wage budget of £2.192 million pounds per week. Let's go and have a look at the debts and loans. So we've got a bank loan of £114 million pounds remaining. We've also got a miscellaneous debt of £68 point six four million pounds as well we've got a net debt of 216 million pounds transfer debt of 26 well nearly 27 million pay it back on a monthly basis uh, roughly around 2.24 million pounds per month it is being paid back but that is not a great thing here so let's have a quick look at the projection then shall we so we can see here that the projection for the end of the 2017-2018 season is around a 5.88 million pound loss 6.1 million pound loss at the end of the 2018-19 season and a 206,000 pound loss by the end of the 2019-20 season so it needs to be worked upon obviously but i think overall given the the balance of the whole team i think if you could sell a player or two in amongst that as well and and try and funnel a lot a few loan deals out to other clubs i think this could definitely be gotten down i definitely do think that so let's have a look at the squad then and we'll have a look at the team report first of all so the strengths in the squad there are a number of talented youth prospects including hashi mustor nicolo Zan zanaletto and tiago diaz there's an aggression and committed squad, which is good. Donnarumma is a fantastic keeper. Uh, Conti is a really good right back. Ricardo Rodriguez is a really good left back. Uh, Donnarumma is obviously really quality. We've got Leonardo Benucci at the back as well. Bonaventura is a top class on the left wing. And there's pretty decent side of squad depth as well. Good teamwork. The transfer budget is a decent amount for this kind of league. Uh, good coaching staff and good scouting staff. Now, the wage budget is only 20 odd thousand pounds left, so there's not much room for manoeuvre on that front. So, you're going to have to get a couple of players out of the door, potentially on loan deals, to help free some of that budget up. And also, it is not the strongest in the realms of the squads in the league. So, you need to get a bit more strength in there as well, a bit more hardcore kind of enforcers in the team. So, we can see here that we've got a decent goalie depth. Obviously, Donnarumma will play a lot of your games. Rodriguez at left back and Luca Antonelli. Uh, there's also been decent coverage at centre back as well. The right back seems covered. Midfield right, Conti, Suso, Bonaventura, etc. Bilia and Bonaventura, Montalivo in the middle, Locatelli. Uh, and again on the left, same kind of. It's a decent team right throughout. I think you could benefit from bringing in a central midfielder or two, possibly look to sell on Montalivo. Just because he is getting on now. I think he's 33, 34. We'll have a look at him in a minute. So let's go and have a look now at the dynamics area of the team. We can see here that we've got three team leaders. Bonucci, Abate and Montalivo. Some highly influential players featuring Lucas Biglia, Antonelli, Bonaventura and Alessio Romagnoli. There's some in influential players as well. Kalinic, Zapata, Musaccio, Paletta, Rodriguez, Donnarumma, Barini, Storari, Conti and Suso complete that. I think generally speaking, we've got a core social group here, which we can see and a lot of the players are in that. And there's a secondary one, which features Conti, Hakan and Kessi and Rodriguez and Musaccio is another secondary social group. So the happiness throughout the team is very happy on the whole or happy on the whole, should I say, with a bit of content, particularly towards the bottom end of the scale so let's go and have a look at the squad then shall we so you can see here on the screen 
that I've put my together my own personal team view. And we can see we've got a, uh, a keeper here, uh, Marco Storari, which personally I would look to be moving on just because he's earning a lot of wages. So we'd look to get him out the door. And I'd do the same for Antonio Donnarumma as well, just because he's never going to feature in the team really, to be honest. So i look to get him and Storari out. And that would, that would free up potentially 62, 63 rather, thousand pounds a week which could go towards a better, a significantly better player in another position. I'd also potentially look at getting rid of Christian Zapata, who is getting £54,000 a week, £6.5 million. If you could get anywhere near that, you'd happily take that. Uh, there's also Jerson Vergara on 6.25, who wouldn't really look to feature in the team. Gustavo Gomez earning 25 and a half could be another one to sell, but also you could look at keeping him on as well. Uh, there's also Luca Antonelli, who personally I don't feel is good enough to warrant that kind of wage. So he'd be another one I'd look to get out of the door, possibly look to sell him over to England. Now, Rodriguez is a superb player. He's well worth the money that you're spending on him. Although if you do sell Luca Antonelli, you will need to bring in a replacement left back. Uh, there's a few out there, so you could go and have a look at that. Uh, the midfield is really good. Obviously, I'd look to probably sell on Montalivo. Just because, you know, he's only going to be going in one direction at the age of 32. So, personally speaking, I'd try and cash in while I could. There's teams in China that usually come looking for him. They certainly did in my personal Milan save. So, make sure you, you look to exploit that option. I think we've got 6.5 million for him. So, it's decent. And it, and it will shave nearly £80,000 off the wage budget as well. Which is definitely handy. Now, this guy isn't good enough to play in the team, so he'd be another one I'd look to get out the door. He's earning six and a half grand a week, which isn't good enough, really. Uh, and I'd definitely look to get rid of him for sure. And the rest of the team, really, is pretty solid. Um, Davide Calabria could be a person that you could look to send out on loan if you need to, to, to free up. There'll be plenty of teams that come in from Udinese, he's often one of the teams that come in for him. So. Yeah, that is pretty much the squad. In terms of transfers in the future, you've got Kessie, Barini and Niang coming in later on in the season. Uh, but obviously these are already here as such. Zagoni is leaving in the opposite direction, going to Venezia. Or is he coming from Venezia? He's joining Venezia rather. So yeah, I mean, he's not good enough. He's only six grand a week, but he's never going to get into the first team. So let's go and have a look then at the board area. So we're going to go into the confidence. We're going to have a look at the competition performance. So the board are satisfied with the team's overall performance. So the Serie A, what do they expect from us? So the minimum expectation for the Serie A this season is to qualify for the Euro Cup through the participation. So you haven't got to win it, but you do have a squad which is going to be very, very capable of doing that. As for the Italian Cup, there is no regard. They do not regard... They, in regards to the Italian Cup, the board do not regard the Italian Cup as important. So that is not really part of the plan this season. And the Euro Cup, or the Europa League as it is known, the minimum expectation is to reach the final of the European Cup, which is quite a big ask, really, to be honest. I mean, they're not really bothered about the League or the League Cup. They want you to get right through to the final of the European Cup. So you could do something there with the bonuses to get the players to focus on that competition. Medical Center, obviously, we've already taken a look at this in other in other videos. So I think on the whole, AC Milan will present an interesting challenge. There's a few players which you can sell to thin out the wage budget to bring in more experienced and better players. I definitely think there is some wheeling and dealing to be done with this squad, but on the whole, it is pretty versatile in various positions. There's quite good depth and coverage. There's some really hard-working players in there, so it's a good base to build a team for the future on. I've also done an AC Milan save called the Rossoneri Rampage, which you can find in a link down below. You've probably already seen it earlier on in this video as well. Go and have a watch of that. See how I got on in that first season and take any ideas that you can. I'm also going to be releasing a tactic video for that on my channel in the near -term future, which I used throughout the whole season there. So be sure to check that out as well. But for today, guys, thank you for watching this FM Scout video today with the AC Milan team guide. And I'll catch you again in the next one.